Disney Cruisers, it's Robin from the GoTo family and I'm back with another vlog on Disney Cruise Line. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the GoTo family channel and hit the bell for notifications. Today we're going to be talking about pixie dust and everything that pixie dust entails on Disney Cruise Line. First off, a lot of you already know what pixie dust is because you've been to Disney World or Disneyland. And pixie dust basically is a way a staff member or another cast member of Disney Cruise Line would try to make the experience of someone attending Disneyland or Disney World or a resort on the premises try to make their experience a little better by doing something really nice. Sometimes this could be like a toy from one of the gift shops. It could even be a room upgrade. So this is what Pixie Dust is. It's trying to enhance the experience of the guests at the Disney World resorts. Over time, pixie dust has become to mean something else. A lot of times, guests like to pixie dust each other too. And I definitely think it's a little more popular to pixie dust people on Disney Cruise Line. Pixie dusting people is a really popular thing to do when you're taking a Disney cruise. It really enhances the experience, not only for you, but for others at the same time. So to be pixie dusted and to pixie dust people, it's best to have a fish extender. A fish extender is one of the hanging storage compartments that people attach to the fish hook um, next to their stateroom door. You can get these storage organizers, whatever you want to call them, on Amazon, on Etsy, and I'll leave the link down below where you can find them. And the fish extender basically allows people to put pixie dust in one of the pockets. Some come with three pockets, some come with four, five. It really depends on how many pockets you want and how many family members you have. Usually though, people that are doing this are doing the fish exchange. And that is basically groups on Facebook exchanging little presents to one another that they've agreed on before actually going on the cruise. We don't participate in the fish exchange, but I still find it's really helpful to have the fish extender hanging on the fish hook if you do want to receive pixie dust as a family. I love pixie dusting and my three girls, Ava, Rose, and Ella, love pixie dusting too. We usually stick to our uh, floor. We usually are on the 7th or 8th, so we'll go around pixie dusting there. But people certainly go up to higher floors and lower floors and drop off their pixie dust to random doors all around the ship. Actually, last time we went up to 12 and gave to concierge because we got a whole bunch of things from one room in the concierge level. So we wanted to pixie dust them in return we are taking a cruise in january and i've already put together our pixie dust we love pixie dusting so much last time that we're really doing a lot of pixie dusting this time but you don't have to go overboard or anything like that you can have even 5 20 even just two things you want to pixie dust to other people on the cruise ship it really doesn't matter there is no standard that you have to meet it most of all it's just meant to be fun and a great experience for you and your family so right now I'm going to show you the different pixie dust we're giving out on our next cruise and exactly what those labels look like that you put on your pixie dust. So you can see this is the label. It says the go to family. It has our room number and where we're from and it has Tinkerbell right here and it's a cute little design and up here it says you have been pixie dusted and I bought this template from Etsy. I printed it on our inkjet printer and I also laminated the front. So I don't know if you can tell here, but you can tell it's a little thicker and I printed it on cardstock. And I did this because when I took my pixie dust last time, I found my labels got ripped and really bent. So I thought laminating them would be easier to transport and give away this time. So you can see that I bought these little pouches and these can be bought on Amazon and it's really easy to put little gifts inside them. And I attached my pixie dust label with elastics. And I feel like they're going to really hold up. Last time I used string for my pixie dust and literally all the string came off and I had to tie them all up again when we were on the cruise ship. You can see inside our little pixie dust bag that we have a little fidget toy. We have a little duck keychain and a sticker. Let me open it to show you exactly 
Just open it up right here. We are going to be giving away a fidget bracelet, which my kids absolutely adored. They actually were like, well, can we have them? Can we have them? Can we have them? I'm like, uh, just one. We're pixie dusting other people. That's supposed to be the point. But you'll see they close like this. And I purchased these on Amazon and they came in a pack, I think about 20 and it wasn't very expensive. So the point is your pixie dust isn't supposed to be too expensive or anything like that. So I tried to buy some of the things in bulk to bring down the cost. You can also see we have this sticker of Lilo. So you can see they can remove it in the back. I actually purchased stickers on Etsy and you can buy them in bulk, which really brings down the cost too. And we got these cute little duckies that are actually keychains. So we're making a play kind of on uh, the cruising ducks that you can hide around the Disney cruise ship. I kind of thought it would be cute to give these kind of ducks in the pixie dust as keychains. The second things we're going to be pixie dusting are in these little cute pouches. And you see the name tags are on again, saying our room number. In these pouches are cute little magnets. We have villains in the middle of Mickey ears. And on the back, you can see it's magnetic. So I thought this would be really cute to give across the ship because people could actually, once they get them pixie dusted at their door, put them on their stateroom door for the remainder of their holiday. And I think I'm going to pixie dust this to people that don't really have anything on their doors because sometimes people don't know you can put magnets on your stateroom door to kind of spruce up your door and once again enhance your cruise experience. So I was thinking it would be a nice thing to do to give people this that don't know about doing that on a Disney cruise. You can see here's another one. This is Mickey ears. Um, it's a nice treat. And I have ones with all different designs on them. And it's magnetic once again too. I bought these all on Etsy and I'll leave the link down below in the description. These pouches I also got on Amazon and I'll leave that link too in the description down below. And what I really love about these pouches is they're easy to close and they're really easy to attach your pixie dust labels to. So you just put them through. So you pun I punched a hole in them with a hole puncher, the little notes, and you just tie them up. And it's done. There you have it. Very simple. And I also really love how it has the stars on these pouches and it kind of looks like a pixie dust pouch in a way. That's basically everything you need to know about pixie dusting other passengers on your Disney cruise. Now, this isn't a requirement. Don't feel bad if you don't want to do it. If you're just there to have some family fun and want to spend time at the pools doing trivia, it's okay. You don't have to feel bad. You don't feel like doing this. We like doing it. Maybe some people don't, but we definitely feel like it's a fun thing to do. And you don't have to bring too many. It doesn't have to occupy too much of your time. We often put a couple of the pixie dust in a little bag and just give them to the girls when we're out about and they drop them off whenever they feel like it. If you have any questions about pixie dusting other passengers, please let me know in the comments down below. Or if you have any other comments about taking a Disney cruise or questions, leave a message down below. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to the GoTo Family channel, like this video and hit the bell for notifications. See you on the next one.